Hey there YouTubers, right? So in this video we are going to look at the Adida SX6000 Pro 1TB NVMe M.2. I'm going to run a couple of benchmarks. Uh, before we do that though we are going to time how long it takes to boot this computer up. So I have just so we can see it two different drives in here but this is the one that actually has the OS on it and is the added a drive all right so let me shut this down and I am using a capture card so that we can get this uh, nailed down now I'm gonna basically count down three two one then I'm gonna click the uh, power button here so I'm going to use that as a way to basically time how long it takes to boot up all right so I'm also going to stop moving the mouse exactly when I click the button all right three two one and so it is booting up even though you're not seeing it on the screen yet uh, and what we're going to do is, as soon as we see the Windows page pop up, that is when we'll be good to go. And boom. So it is done, folks. Um... I'm going to pause this and actually I guess I don't. You guys can't see what my password is. Alright. So there we go. Now I've got a couple things on here. We'll do crystal benchmark and we'll also do uh, user benchmark. So let's get that going. And we will also compare that to there is a silicone power one terabyte in here, okay? So this is kind of like the battle of the $100 one terabyte drives. So right now we've got it set up for C, which is the silicone. And I'm going to go ahead and hit all. And we will uh, get the read writes for it. Now this video probably will take a little bit of time to do because I've got to go through and do these. I'm only going to do one one run on these. If I was really doing a good job, I would do three. Right, so if this was a, a real experiment, we would do at least three of these. And I will follow this with uh, the D drive. And then we'll do user benchmark because it's going to do both drives at the same time. And I'll score them. And I'll give you a little bit idea of at least which one they think is a better drive. And you'll be able to see the read writes side by side. So what I will do, I think, when this is done, I will make a uh, screenshot so we can we can compare this as soon as the other one's done. So if you end up liking the way this is done, please let me know. I'll, I'll plan to do this more in the future with the different drives. I had thought about doing this and a viewer asked to uh, for me to benchmark this. So I said, ah, all right, why not? We'll finally get motivated to do that.
All right, first one's down. So let me do a screenshot real quick. Wow. That is uh, terrible. Oh, that's not good, folks. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, so now we'll do the uh, the D drive. Which is the silicone power one. Almost done.
All right, so it's done. Let's compare it to the other one. So you can see if you were to be trying to choose between these two, at least with Crystal Dismark, that the silicone power is ever so slightly faster for reading as well as writing. And of course, it's not consistently better, right? It would be too easy for that to be the case. So there are some advantages to the silicone over our Adida, but uh, in general, these are relatively close. And this one's interesting. This one's higher than that. But this one is higher than that guy. Um, so in some aspects, I'd almost say this is a, a toss-up. You can see that here. This guy is higher than that one, but this one is higher than that. So um, I can't really give you a definitive which one's better. So I'll leave that up to your eyeballs and your decision. Um, feel free to comment down below if you have a feeling that one is much better than the other based on what you see here. So let's go ahead and run crystal, not crystal dismiss, userbenchmark.com's thing. We'll see if we can get some other numbers here.
Oh, and by the way, the computer we're using is a, a i7 10700K with a RTX 2060 Super on ASRock Z490 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. All right, so this is good. 1% background CPU usage. It's pretty decent uh, gaming score, desktop score, but what you guys care about is down here. So according to this, the ADA is significantly better with a 220 score, and you can see the uh, read score. So once again, though, this is one of those things where it's just because this says one thing doesn't necessarily mean it's better for what you need. You will see a superior read score, it looks like, compared to the silicon power. Now, write score, though, was lower than the silicon power. So you will see some things in here that, uh, you know, may not actually make it better for you. And we'll look at the uh, what they've got for 4K. You can see that the silicone power writing those type files might actually be better. Um, so there you have it, folks. I hope you got something out of it. Um, we showed you how long it takes to boot up. Then we also provided you with a couple of benchmarks. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope this helped you. And if it did, please give it a big old like at about above maybe even leave a comment too i love i love hearing comments from people that uh, actually got something out of the videos i make and uh consider subscribing thank you